Hi. Hi. Um. Is is this real? Uh, what do you mean? Is this real? real. <laughs> it is very real. Uh huh. Uh. Okay. Um. Hi, I'm Leong Yuan. I, I forgot why I wrote this book. I forgot everything. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Okay, slowly one at a time. Maybe um, uh, Rafi, let me help you here. Okay, so probably Long Long. Can I call you Yuan? I mean, right? That's your name, right? Yeah. Long is your family name, yeah. Okay. So um, maybe Yuan, you can um, you can speak later but i think what would be good is the groups introduce themselves and why they uh, they chose your book okay so um who wants to start okay let me let me uh do this so on my screen i see sandria uh first guest bar sandria so probably you can just share a little bit about yourself your group and why they chose uh, uh yuan's book um, hi, good afternoon. I'm Sandri Gaspar and I'm from the DWC Studios group. Mm -hmm. Um D D W C D W C stands for Dream Weavers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dream Weavers Club. So uh -huh. that's that's what it stands for, just just to start everything off. Um I'm groupmates with uh, Farrell, Noreen, and Eunice. It was, yeah, the three of them mm -hmm. there. And we chose the girl in white because while we were choosing like our options, um, we picked, we tried picking very different books or the like, books of di very different genres. Mm -hmm. And I guess we found it most interesting interesting as well um, as it, it it tackled you know um more than what do you call this super superstitious supernatural yes and the supernatural so I guess we wanted to add it in add it to one of our options since we want to challenge ourselves on how we want how we could go about the story and how we could create a film potentially create a film out of it right okay so um that's great right we have i think more people joining us right so uh you haven't introduced yourself sandria uh you are in grade oh i'm i'm in grade 12 okay Senior, currently a senior, and maybe a few things about me. Oh, I'm part of the PYFA ambassadors. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Um, and I, I all, I'm also, I also take interest in writing, mm -hmm. which I think is one of my strengths. And maybe in connection with film, I. I've had past experiences with directing and as well as acting. So. Okay, so uh, okay, I'm I'm from Singapore, uh, and Long is from Malaysia. I'm not very familiar with grades. Yeah, so grade twelve is how old are you? Eighteen, is it? Seventeen. Eighteen. Ah, okay, all right. Um, probably for the benefit of um. Long again because uh you um I think you were invited and you know um the first email that went to you was like oh your story has been selected for you know for the Philippines Young Author uh Philippines Young Filmmaker Award right um Yuan that's the first time you heard about yeah so uh, just to give you a brief um so what happened is uh, Meridian College of uh these students come from um and um, Jane's Education of which uh, I I you know the the uh the program is about okay um and which uh oversees the young author award the asia young author award um are collaborating okay so you are a young author your book was um your book was um you know um shortlisted okay for the asia young author award and it's published right yeah so what happened is um i gave a selection of titles a selection of books uh for Meridian College uh, to sort of like read and then uh, to decide um, which one they want to sort of like make a short film from. That's how the whole thing started, right? And um, to be very, I'm very surprised. Okay, maybe not so because your story is great. Um, I'm very, 
you know, happy that um, quite a few groups actually chose your story. And I can see why, because it's, I don't know, I mean, it, it, it's very unsettling. Uh, okay, that's my from my perspective. But the rest of you, you've got to say your own perspective. It's unsettling. I mean, um, but it appeals, I think, to today's generation. Um, I'm far, far away from a generation. Yeah, so, um, which is why I think... Um, and it's about love. It's about this love that can never be. And then the guy has to make a decision, you know, things like that. So I think um, the gist of the story is there. It appeals. And um, also because of this supernatural thing, I think it appeals to all of them. Okay, I think shades of twilight. I don't know. Is it twilight? Or something else probably. Yeah. All right. So um, that is the background from which um, uh, you are now uh, in. Okay, with um, they're going to ask you questions about your book, your motivation, yeah. So are you settled now to probably speak about yourself and the book? Are you? You okay, right? Um, I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> that will continue until you tell me that um, you can, you know, remember what why you wrote the book in this all this. Okay, guys, I'm coming in from Adelaide. Um. Yeah, it's not supposed to be that noisy, but there's an ambulance there, huh? Okay, all right. So, uh, Sandra, thank you so much. Right. Um, you have your team members, right? So, uh, maybe we go down to Pharaoh. Is that how you pronounce your name, Pharaoh? Yeah? Could you... Uh, yes, yes Catherine. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Pharaoh. I am Sandra's classmate, and we're... Uh, I'm 19, and we're both... Uh, from Meridian as well. So, uh, yes. Um, actually, I'm also a PYFA ambassador. Oh. And, um, yeah, so we're helping organize the, or like, uh, yeah, we're helping organize the event and we want to join as well since we're really interested in film. And Great. Um, I think during the pandemic, especially, uh, for me personally, I found interest in um, in film because we had an elective about film, and uh, mm. I actually enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah, I it was it was something new to me. And mm -hmm. um, besides film, I think one of my main interests are is music. So I, I like music as well. I you can play put the score to the film. You can put the score, the score to your short film. Although that's yeah, I think. Ah yes, yes. Yeah, we could compose. Yeah, nice. Yeah, great. Okay, and um, so next would be Noelin. Is that how you pronounce your name, Noelin? Uh, so it's an Noelin, but Noelin. you can also just call me Ray. Ray. So, I'm eighteen. I'm also classmates with Sandre, Farrell, and Eunice. So similar to them, I'm, I'm also a PYFA ambassador. And mm -hmm. the reason why I wanted to join this competition, aside from the prize money, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to join the competition <laughs> is because I'm also, I'm also passionate about film. So ever since our early grades in high school, We've been assigned video projects and film projects, which really piqued my interest. And over the years, I've been able to develop directing skills, screenwriting skills, wow. and editing skills. So I hope to put these to the test and to be able to help my group uh, attain the film that we'd want to yeah. uh, produce. And I mean, making a film is a team effort, right? Yeah, you have the skills of that many, and then you can work together on the film. Yes, cool. Right, uh, Chelsea. Yes. Um. Hello. Hi. Um. I'm a classmate of Sandra, Nolin, and Farah. So we belong. We all belong in the same group. Um. Yeah. Like Sandra, Um. I also took interest in acting. Um. Ah. Editing, directing. So, yeah, I'm also really passionate about um film, in general. So. It's nice to be part, to take part in this um, competition, as well as part of the PYFA ambassadors. Cool. So all of you are from the same group, right? Including Yana? Yes or no? 
No, okay, your representatives of other groups. Okay, fair enough, good. All right, and lastly, we come to Yana. Yana is the last I'm going to speak to before I come to you, Yana. Okay, so Yana, hi, how are you? Um, uh, actually, my entire group is here with me here. This is Renee. Hi, okay, so all of them are there. All right, uh, Yana is, uh, I know Yana, you know, she's a young author. Um, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, hi, Rafi. Yes, um, and so um, tell Yana, me some. I think, sorry, I think we also need a photo of Yana and her group mates in one frame. Um, yeah, we can do that, I guess. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah I I'll just take a photo, photo quick photo. one. Photo. Another photo. We have to come together because how many of you? Three, four, three. Three. Three, okay, three can. You have to squeeze because the frame can't take you. Uh, the guy in white. Oh, not the girl, uh, the guy in white. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Oh, again. Nope. One, oh. two, three. Great. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. All right. So, uh, one by one. So, I start with Yana. Uh, Yana, um, Ren, Yana is also uh, one of our uh, shortlisted in the Young Author Award last year, right? The Asia Young Author Award last year, right, Yana? Last year, Yana, can you hear me? It was last year. Two years ago. Uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, she wrote something called, uh, what do you write, Yana? Can you remember? Some of arrows. Oh, arrows of the mind. Arrows of the mind, yeah. Okay. Um, in fact, I actually gave uh, them the selection, your stories in it. But uh, maybe what happened is uh, your story might be a bit too complicated. Yeah. All right. So, tell... Uh, uh, you know, share something about yourself and your love for film, probably, and why you chose uh, Yuan's book. Um, hi, I'm Yana. I'm 16. I'm in grade 9 with classmates. Ten. Oh, grade 10. Oh, my God. I'm in grade 10. I'm in grade 10. Um, I'm classmates with these two. I'm classmates with these two. Um, the three of us all are very interested in film, um, especially Zach. And we really like we were really attracted to Young Yen's story because it was such a wild concept that we thought would just look good on camera. Mm. And you know, it's very different from the other stories. Oh, okay, all right. Right, okay. And so um can I come to the next person? Uh next to you? Okay, all right. Hi, Hi I'm Renee. I'm 16 years old and I'm very good to stand as well. Um, like what Yana said, we're, we're very passionate about film. We, um, we're very interested in the whole concept of making a film and we're just excited to put Young Yen's story into screen. Right, okay. Right, um, so you share Yana's uh, uh, reason, you know, like, you know, it's it's different, you know, the, the book itself. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Uh, the next person, can I have your name? Uh, I am Zach. Zach. I am Zach. Zach Ribagan, sorry. Uh, okay. I am 15 years old, also from grade 10. Hmm. Uh, uh, I joined this competition to showcase my love for cinematography. Whoa, so you're going to be the cinematographer for this. Whoa, amazing. Okay, all right. Right, so um, done already, all the groups. All right, so Yuan, I think now is your time. You have to tell them. Tell them about your motivation to write this story, okay? Um, and um, where you took inspiration from. You know, just share something about yourself first. Because uh, I think um, you come from Malaysia, not the Philippines. So I think a bit of history about your school and everything will be good. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I can't hear you. I think you're muted. Are you? Yeah, no, you're not muted, but then um, I can't hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yep, we can. Uh, okay. Hi, I'm 15 years old. I, um, I, I, I don't know. I just like, I'm a naturally creative person. 
So I was just like, I just oh. thought of this just someday. I forgot when, and then yeah, I just wrote it. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me some idea about um, uh, your motivation. I mean, why the story? Why not another story? I mean, why? What? What gave you the inspiration? It's inspired from one of my favorite books, uh, Charlie St. Cloud. There's a movie about it. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, I just kind of like, I just kind of took the idea and just made something my own. Okay, right, cool. All right, so this is, oh, um, this is uh, Yuan. What school do you come from? Uh, Hanjiang High School. Okay, so is it a very Chinese school? It's a Chinese private school. Okay, all right. Yeah, um, and Chinese is the first language or English because you speak English really well. English. Really? Okay, because I thought all schools in Malaysia, if it's a Chinese school, the first language is uh, Chinese. No. Uh, I mean, yes, it's, it's a mix. Okay, all right. All right, cool. All right, so um, can I open it to the floor? All right. Um, yesterday, we had Kimberly. Uh, it's only up from here, and it was a very spirited discussion. Um, they asked questions about inspiration about the setting and everything else so i'm going to leave it to you all of you um to start um you just ask your questions huh? you can put up your hand or something you know so that um at least um you know i know who's going to ask the question yeah okay so let's start anybody yep okay um, yes, uh, Sandra, I think I saw your hand. Um, yes, hi. Maybe just to set things straight, um, first and foremost, um, I, our group was wondering if, um, I guess what, how do you envision your story to be when we adapt, when, yeah, when, when we make our film adaptation of it, like, do you have certain expectations or are you strict about anything in particular? Don't make it too happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, then. Um, maybe a follow up question would be Would it be okay to? Uh, um, since I believe the setting is in LA or somewhere in the Americas, right? Um, we were wondering if it would be okay to like tweak tweak some details, like really minor details, or if you're like strict about featuring. Um, it depends. Uh. Um, oh yeah, uh, actually I would like to say this, um, you guys can add your own additional scenes, like there's not in the story. Go creative, I don't care, I want to see it. Okay. Yeah, um, well usually uh, adaptation is very different from, you know, book and movie, you know, it's a different medium. Yeah, so um, yeah, they do basically would have to think through and see what, what they can do. Um, having said that, I think um, uh, Yuan, um, uh, I would hope that, uh, you know, I mean, uh, basically uh, the, the kids will be looking at the stories and everything else and then to, um, you know, to look at yours and uh, what would be, I think, more important is, is the fact that, uh, you know, when the, the, the movie is made or something, you know, um, there'll be the awards and everything and um, it will be held in the Philippines, yeah, the physical, but um, I don't know, you might want to come, you know, and be a guest or something because the rest Um, and I just want to ask what you meant that to symbolize. That doesn't symbolize anything. It's just a sunflower hairpin. Okay, so you didn't you didn't um think through it, you know, like you just wanted to put a sunflower hairpin, right? 
it's just part of her character. Yeah. Okay. All right. It says a lot, actually. Uh, sunflower happened. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. Any uh any questions? Any other questions? Yes. Carol. Um. So, since uh, like you said, um, we could be creative with uh, or like adding additional scenes or whatever. Um, do you have any scenes in particular or details in particular that you would prefer to be kept in? Um, the the major details, yeah. Example. Uh, overall, a lot of scenes with uh Austin, the main character, and Sophia. Uh, his brother, the the scene where he dis he exposes him on a social media platform. I forgot what it is. Yeah, and um, just overall the relationship, the relationships of Austin and the people around him. Hmm. Yeah, I guess a film is all about relationships, right? And the two major ones, uh, Austin and what's the girl's name? Ah, uh? Sophia. Yeah, and the brother, I guess. Yeah, it's just, it's it's all about relationships. Yeah. Um. Uh, any follow up question, Farrell? Um. Yes, but um, a bit unrelated. Uh, to the first question. Um, would you think that? Uh, or what are your thoughts on creating a, a silent film adaptation, if ever? Do you think the dialogues are necessary, or do you think that we could portray that through actions? Or uh, uh, we'd, we'd like to know what you think. So, sorry. Uh, did you say, what was your question? Um, do you think that um, taking out the dialogues or at least majority of the dialogues would be okay with still portraying the film? Uh, like let's say for example we do a silent film. Uh, what do you think about that? Silent. So treatment, okay. Uh, now we're talking treatment, yeah. So it's silent. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so what do you think about it, uh, Yuan? I mean, what are your thoughts about it? Hmm. No. You don't want a silent film? Okay. I feel like language and communication is very important on telling a story. So dialogue is an absolute must need in like every book. So I feel like the same should go to filming. It is very difficult actually to make a silent movie from this. Yeah, I mean, um, very difficult to sort of like achieve, you know, the effect. Yeah, there should be some dialogue. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, uh, any other questions? No? Uh, Farrell, no? Okay, any other person? What about characters? Anyone want to ask about the characters? Right? Um, well, it's a particularly moving story, I feel. I do enjoy uh, reading it. Yeah. Yes, uh, Yana's group. Um... Were there any films or maybe other books that inspired you to write that story? Like an aesthetic that we can compare it with so we know what tone you were trying to set? Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a Zac Efron film on Charlie and Cloud. I recommend you watch that. It's like... And almost a copy. Okay, so you got the name, huh? Zach Efron and the name of the movie? Uh, it's called Charlie's and Cloud. It's just the book been made into the movie. And there's Zach Efron in it. 
Uh, okay, so that's your favorite actor. Okay, uh huh. And um, so what about books? Uh, the original book, the the book that's made into the movie. Ah, okay, so book and movie. Okay, all right. I'll type it in the chat if you need it. Why don't you do that in the chat? Yeah, I don't know whether they've seen. I'm sure they do. Zac Efron is like your generation. Yeah. Right. Yes. Uh, another question from your group. Um, I also want to ask about their relationship. Like, what, what is the main foundation? Like, why do they love each other so much? You know, other than just so we get to know them more. Austin is a unique character. He is one that gets close to things that he that he likes. He like he he sees some things he like, he would try to get to know it more. So he finds Sophia as an interesting something interesting. And then because well, and then yeah, he's he just wants to get close to it. And then the moment he found out that Sophia was a ghost, he wanted. He knew that she was the one. He she, she was the one. I know it doesn't really make sense, but he just falls in love with her, while he was getting to know her, and like he falls he's in love with her personality, mm -hmm. uh, her overall appearance, and overall they're just unique. They're just weird. They're strange. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if this just makes sense or not. I think so. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, so, uh, Sandra's, Sandra's last questions, Pharaoh. What about Nolan and Chelsea, your group? Do you have any questions for her? Um, since we're in the same group as Pharaoh and Sandra, I don't oh. think we have any further questions. All right. And uh, Chelsea, you're from another group, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Any questions? Or have they asked all the questions that you need? Yes, they also asked the questions. No? Okay. All right. Um, okay. Uh, well, yesterday, um, just, just to follow up on yesterday, uh, we were talking about dystopian, right? Um, because um, that was chosen. Um, uh, and there was an Asian setting, right? Yours, uh, Yuan, is, a, is a, well, basically it's in the West, all right? Um, um, I have a question now. Um, so, the setting itself for your story, all right? Um, uh, there's no way they can do a setting, you know, like um, in the West or something. So, um, guys, maybe you think about it. What What do you think? How do you want to set the story? Uh, I have a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, speak, speak. It's your story. Uh, can you just do it like a kampong? <laughs> oh, no, good... no, not, not literally, like... Not literally like a, not literally like a village or anything. It's just that a more rural area. Mm, rural, right? Um, uh, guys, you all know what is a kampong? Do you know what's kampong? Uh, you don't know. Okay, please explain. They are in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, it it's like it's just like uh. Uh, how do I explain? Kampong, can I can I help you with that? Kampong is Malay, all right. It's in the Malay language. It's like literally a village, you know, where um like you can say rural. So it's like backwaters, you know. Um, uh, I would think something like uh, okay, I've been to Philippines, but not to uh, um, not city. Okay, something probably like um Cavite, Bakuo. You all know that place. I hope so. Yeah, okay. And, um, you know, I've been to that place and then Batangas, you know, and um, probably what's the other one which I love? Uh, Tagaytay. Okay, but that one might be a bit more up. Yeah, but so these areas, yeah, Yuan, um, these are more the rural, not rural, but in a sense, out of the city. Yeah, so you could actually set it around there. Uh, but I mean, you don't have to literally go there, but find some place that, you know, is similar to rural suburbs. Yeah. Okay, outer suburbs. Um, uh, that's all I can do to explain. Yeah, continue. Uh, small town, small neighborhood, somewhere mm. near a graveyard. Like exactly the scene. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a cemetery in her scene uh, where they go to. Yeah, where can I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I remember um, uh, just to sort of like uh, go up a little here. Um, I remember when I sent my eldest girl uh, to uni. Um, it was in the UK, in Nottingham, which is very, very forested. And um, we booked a B&B. Okay, and oh God. Um, uh, okay, um, she, this was quite many years ago. And then B&B wasn't like what you have now. Your air, b and and all that. Bed and breakfast literally. Okay, and um, so we saw online and then we booked. And then we went there and it was really late at night because um, I think the, the time floods and everything else. And so we took a London cab and then we reached that place. And it was a very, um, it's a very gothic house. Okay, um, uh, you know, picture Victorian novels where you have just this house in, in the night, you know, you, you happen to come. And so, um, yeah, we are there and it was quite late. So we checked in and we had to lock our bags up to the second floor. All right. Um, there are only two floors, by the way. And so early in the morning, we woke up. Okay. Um, and um, I looked out the window and next to it was a graveyard. Okay, so um, not that bad. I mean, it was very nice. You have pretty flowers and all that, which I think um, would be what uh, Yuan's uh, you know, graveyard would be, pretty flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, but we were literally next to a graveyard. Okay, so if you can find something like that, that would be good. But just simulate a, 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 a graveyard if you can't find one. Uh, also, lots of fire, fireflies, like lots of them. I don't know whether there are fireflies in the Philippines. Yeah, if that's something you. Flash like mini LED lights to strings. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. What other things? Uh, any questions? I think Yana is saying something. You want to ask a question? Ah, uh, okay. All right. Anybody else? What about treatment? How do you want to treat your... Okay, I mean, I shouldn't be asking you here because um, you have workshops on that already. You're going to have workshops on that. How do you want to treat your story? I mean, what, what tone do you want to give it? Because, I mean, no more questions ready, so let me ask the questions. How, how would you want to do it? Is it going to be a tragedy? You know, I mean, would it be a... Um, one? Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Um, yeah. Well, like, very emotional. Uh -huh, very emotional says a lot. Um, yeah, so any questions about that? Any of you? No? All, have, all know what they want to do already. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, okay, dystopian, easier to talk about. Love story, nothing much to say except um, it's a love story. Right, okay. So any, no more questions? Rafi, you want to... Um, you want to add anything? I don't think Rafi's in. Rafi, are you in? Okay. All right. So, if there's no more questions, I think. Um, so, you have given the book. You have um, given them some themes to think about. And um, But what exactly are you trying to say in the book? What are you exactly? What's your message in the book? What, what, I mean, remember when I taught you, uh, you know, we looked at, uh, you know, the workshop itself, um, every story has a message. So what are you trying to say in your book? What are you trying to communicate to your audience in the book? When you wrote it, I mean, I'm sure there must be something that came to your mind, you're feeling something because, I mean, stories and movies or books or whatever is about feelings. At the end, you want to communicate something to that audience that is going to watch the film uh, or read the book. So throughout that, what is the message you want to send? Um... That true love, um, yeah, whether it's uh, whatever, yeah, what are you trying to say? To be honest, I won't consider this a love story. I was considering love story. This is very interesting. Okay, so uh, what do you consider this? I mean, what is the message? I, I don't think I won't consider this a love story. I will consider this a bi a biography of a, a fictional character. Mm -hmm. The overall main focus is often I try, and then Sophia is just like, "Hey, I'm here to help you." Um, so. The main fo I use first person. I, I 
no, we know. I used the, so, uh, no, this doesn't matter. Uh, okay. I just want to focus. I my main focus for this is Austin's personal life, and then the sofa is like something to the side, like the butler, mm -hmm. and then, so because Austin made a really hard decision to let go what he loves, or just fo follow it to wherever he goes, mm -hmm. and I've. Austin knew that he had a life ahead of him, and he's and he had to make a really hard choice to sacrifice to the one he's going for, or he's just gonna, uh, finish off his finish off his life, mm -hmm. and then he he first I didn't write this, but he knew that he could just move on from Sophia and meet someone that's actually real, and he has a whole life ahead of him, mm -hmm. so it's one of the reasons why why he didn't choose Sophia. And second of all, he he wants Sophia to move on. Yeah. He wants Sophia to become human again. And right. if, and if he's lucky enough, he'll meet her somewhere again. Mm. He know he he knows he knows a lot. And so that's what it's that that is why he let her go. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. So that's your ending. Um my next question to you, uh perhaps maybe uh the all of them want to know as well. Um if if the ending is changed, yeah, um, would you accept that? Or it's an open ended ending. He doesn't make up his mind, you know. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there are some things to consider, right, guys? Yana, Sandra, yeah. So, would you consider because filmmakers think about story differently? I mean, the story is there. You know, they adapt. Once it's adapted, um, it's the filmmakers' treatment already. It's how they want to move the story, uh, how they want to tell the story. Yeah. So, um, would you um, uh, if it's a different ending, maybe open ended? I don't know. I mean, that's one option. Yeah. Would would that be something that it's um um you will find um you're open to? Sorry. Uh -huh. Depends. Depends on how it's presented. Yeah, that's why. Right. Okay, but let's leave it to the filmmakers. You know, I mean, um, they're adapting, and uh, then there's a lot of things to think about when you adapt a film. I mean, a story, a book to a film. Yeah. All right. Um, Rafi, are you back? Rafi is not back. Okay, she's with another group. Okay, so never mind. So what is going to happen now is um, if there are no further questions, uh, yes. Yana, you have a question? Oh no, um, Pharaoh has a question. Yana has a question. Okay, let's go, uh, Pharaoh first. Oh, I was just going to say that Yana um, has a question. Sorry, sorry. Let's go, Yana first. Okay, yeah, Yana. Right, their relationship to be true love, or was it infatuation? Since it only happened over the course of two weeks, is it if they could have been together? Do you think it would have in real love or was it just exciting in the moment interesting question okay uh 15 year old asking a 16 year old that i i i don't know <laughs> okay all right come answer that um i actually don't know because like even if I wanted to, if I, if I want to make true love, I would have made it a sequel, like for something like that. Like Sophia came back, oh, they're happy together, woo. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not really sure actually. My yeah. main theme is like forbidden love, like mm -hmm. never gonna happen. Yeah. But, like, but true love, I'm not sure. Like because like I just want to leave the story there. It's like okay, uh, this is my uh my fourteen year old project. It's just leave it there. I never yeah. thought of anything beyond that after I finish it. Sure, it's a short story, yeah. So Yana, does that answer your question? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, you said it, you know, rightly. It's for two weeks, you know. But I think it leave. Uh, that will leave. Uh, I mean, more thoughts, you know, like why um, it's two weeks, and yeah, it could expand to something else. Yeah. So it's up to the filmmaker to think about what to do with it. Yeah. Farrell, sorry, you had a question. Uh, actually, they asked my question. Oh, okay, about uh, infatuation or true love, huh? Yeah. Um, for the very fact that he learned to let go, you know, I think basically that to me, to me, okay. Is, yeah, you know, but uh, Yana is fifteen year old. You're fourteen, huh? Fourteen year old, very oh, different. I'm fifteen. 
14 year old yeah you wrote it when you're 14. Okay. all right so um for all of you um if you got no more questions um yeah so i'm going to see all of you um uh when we have this uh workshop with uh, all of them uh, not you i mean with uh, me with them and um can i ask if you could um uh, for the workshop itself, um, try to do the character sketches for the two main people, all right? Um, Sophia and uh, who's the other? Austin, yeah. Try and do a little character, which we can we can actually uh, what is the word for it? Discuss. It's only one hour, and I got a few groups with me, so we'll we'll discuss that. Um, and also you can ask me some questions, yeah. Um, I'll tell you more about writing and everything else, but I'm sure all of you know about it. It's more about uh, what basically is a story about? That's all I wanted to tell you about. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Yuan, you have a question. Uh, what's a character thing? What's a character sketch? Okay. So everything. Uh, okay. When we teach writing, setting is important, but the characters and the setting work with each other. You know, the setting affects the characters. The characters affect the setting. Right, everyone? Yeah. Okay. So characters are very important because they move the story. You know, stories, don't, if you don't have a character in the story, there's no, um, and, um, you know, so what is important, a character sketch is, uh, how is your character, um, uh, if you know your characters, you know what to do with them. You know, I mean, if um, he basically has um, uh, a sort of like, a, uh, he, um, maybe he's autistic, you know, an autistic person is different from someone who, um, you know, is of normal um you know normal intellectually so at the end of it your character basically will tell the story so you must know your characters because if something happens um you go back to that character sketch and it develops yeah right so that's what um characters are about yeah um yeah so anything else no oh it's a pretty short one not too bad okay so um that's 45 minutes anyone has any question no question huh? all right so try and develop a character sketch of the two main um uh your two main characters and then i'll see all of you on saturday okay all right ken all right thank you very much then thanks jen thank you yeah bye-bye be creative don't mess bye. up bye. i don't think they will bye bye Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, for... thank you.